Hi there, it's Roseanne here from Country Chic Paint. In this tutorial, I'd like to show you how to create a grey weathered wood look on furniture that reminds me of an old aged barn. It would make a lovely finish for the top of a dresser, for example. Stay tuned to find out how to do it. When you're refinishing a dresser, it creates a beautiful contrast when you stain the top of the dresser and paint the drawers and the frame in a different color. In this tutorial, I'll show you one way of creating a beautiful dresser top. Here's an example of what it looks like on a stool. The supplies I'll be using today include our graphite glaze, two colors of our almond decor paint, cobblestone and cheesecake. We're also going to use some um, lint-free rags, um, paintbrush, wax brush, our gray wax, as well as our hemp oil. This technique works best with natural wood that doesn't have any stains or finishes on it. So if you're working with a varnished or painted dresser or another piece, then you'll want to make sure you strip the paint or varnish off the top and remove that finish before you start the process. To demonstrate the technique, I'm just going to use this piece of board. First of all, to deepen the wood color and bring out the natural wood grain, I'll be using the graphite glaze and I'll simply use a paintbrush to apply it. I'm going to apply one coat of the glaze and then I'm gonna use a rag to wipe off the excess. Best thing to do is uh, dampen your rag first before you wipe away the glaze. If you want to, you can add multiple layers of glaze and letting it dry in between coats. As you can see, the wood is starting to look more aged already. After applying the glaze, you want to let it sit and dry completely for about an hour or so. It all depends on the humidity and uh, temperature. Um, so if you want to be sure, you can also leave it a little bit longer than an hour. The next step we're going to take is add a bit more uh, color variation. So for this piece, I've chosen cobblestone and cheesecake, which I'm going to dry brush over my wood. For dry brushing, it's normally easiest if you pour a small amount of paint onto a paper plate, but you can also just use the little bit of paint that's in the top of your paint jar. What you can do is you dip your brush or the tips of your brush just slightly into the paint and then you're gonna use some paper towel to dab off the excess. So you, you want your paintbrush to be almost completely dry. There's barely any paint on it. So what you wanna do is create very light, thin lines of color, not large splotches of paint. So you wanna lightly swipe your brush across the surface creating random, a random color until you're happy with the look. Okay, so that was cheesecake. We're gonna do the exact same thing with uh, cobblestone. Again, I'm using just a tiny bit of paint and just dabbing it off on my paper towel before I apply it to my piece. After you're happy with the look you've created, you can leave it to dry for about an hour. Because I would like to deepen the color, I'm going to apply some of our new gray wax. I'll be using a Country Chic Paint wax brush for this, but you can also uh, just use a rag if that's uh, what you have on hand. To make the wax easier to apply, what I like to do sometimes is just use a um, stir stick and a scoop some of the wax out of the jar and onto my project. And I'm just gonna work that in. So after applying one thin coat of wax to your surface, you can immediately use a dry, clean rag to buff off the excess. You wanna keep on buffing until the wax feels smooth and dry to the touch. 
If it still feels tacky, you want to keep buffing a little bit more. One final step I'm going to take is to seal my finish with hemp oil. It's very easy to apply and all you have to do is a quick wipe with a clean uh, rag and after you let it dry uh, for 12 hours, you can buff the surface again. The hemp oil is a 100% natural finishing product that gives protection to your furniture pieces. If you wanna learn more about hemp oil, you can watch our other video uh, that covers this in more detail. So that's all there is to it. Again, an example of what it uh, looks like is this little stool here. Um, but it would be great to use on a um, dresser top. If you're curious, the, the bottom of this was painted in the color Full Bloom. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave us a comment if you have any questions. I also recommend that you subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. To learn more about our products and where you can find them, please go to our website, countrychicpaint.com. Thank you so much for watching and happy painting.